In this section, I am going to cover editing your submasters on the EOS. So let's take a look at a few examples of that. I first want to look at the various methods in live that you can use to edit. And the first one is using update. So maybe in this example, I have my submaster six up and it has some moving lights shining high up on the walls. And I want to bring that focus down a little bit and grab the lights, move their position. And if I'm happy with that, I can simply use the update command and use the load button of the sub. And now we can see that we have successfully updated our submaster with that new position. I can also use the record function to update in live. And there are two primary things that you can do with record. One is to add channels to a submaster. The other one is to replace it. Let's look at adding some information to a submaster. I have a look up that is a combination of submaster and also a background look that's provided by my cue list. And I'm looking at my gobos on the wall. And what I'd like to do is have the submaster change the gobo. I want to leave their position and leave their any color that's been applied or any intensity that the cue is playing back, but I want the submaster to just change the gobo. So the first thing I want to do is select those units, change their gobo, and now what I can do is a selective store. So I'll do select last, beam, record because I'm adding information. Now I hit the, the load button of the sub. The console will ask me to confirm that I want to add the information. Press enter. And now we can see on our channel display that the gobo information has been assigned to that submaster as indicated by the yellow color of the value. Now, that submaster will change the gobo on its travel up to its position. An additional use of record in live is when I'm doing a selective store, I can, I can use the same record remdim function to replace the contents of the submaster. So a selective store or record to a sub will add information. Selective store and record remdim will replace information with my new specified information. So that is how you can make changes to your submasters in live. And of course, you can also make changes to your submasters in blind. So if we go into blind and look at sub six, enter. All of the information is here and I can make changes very, very simply. A few things that we want to point out about making changes in blind. One is that the changes you make here are automatically stored. And two, if that submaster is up, any change I make in blind will automatically be routed to live through the playback of that submaster so that you can see what's happening as you're making changes in blind. And those are the methods that you can use to edit your submasters on the EOS.